My name is Adebanji Alade <laughs> and I've been painting for over 25 years um, and I love it, I really do. I don't know how I'll be without doing this, this is great, this is, this is what gives me the buzz. This is like daily medicine. When I when I when I when I encounter a scene and on the first impression it will have on me is the overall composition and how the light and sh and light and um, and dark shapes how they work together to form a nice abstract shape. So even though I don't paint abstracts, but it needs to work abstractly as a painting. So I'm always on the lookout for that. So I'm always looking for negative shapes, positive shapes. The shapes the trees make with those in the background are more important to me than the trees itself. So everything needs to have a nice coercive feel. The drawing is important and that comes to play as much as the composition. I'm thinking about composition and once I have it right in my head, then I need to get it down properly drawing wise. So I'll take my time to sketch this thing all in before ever I touch any bit of paint on this um, surface. So, and I'm a stickler for sketching, so I'll spend a lot of time doing that, yeah. Sometimes to the detriment of the time I should start painting, but it's all good. Um, I first got into art, you know, um, when I was about five or six. I had um, a cousin, he was so passionate about football, he got me trapped into supporting Arsenal, but um, it, 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 it was then I got into football and then I was looking for all sorts of things in football. I discovered this comic called Roy of the Rovers and a great comic, it was about 16p in those days. I'll buy that with my, with my meagre amount of money and I would draw every storyboard on that comic strip. I was mad. This is like, this is where the addiction started. About six years old, I'll draw. I mean, one of, the, one of the only things they never had to force me to do. It's just like, I would draw and forget everything. Forget TV, forget any other thing. It was just draw, draw, draw. So I, I never really got into painting until 1992 when I went to college in Nigeria. But it was drawing, drawing all the way through. <laughs> I can paint a scene for about three reasons. One could be the effect of light on a place. The other thing could be because of its historical importance. And then I think third, just, just my love, just a, a, just a love for a particular place. No significance at all, no light and shade, just seeing people and places interacting. It means a lot to me and I, and I just find myself having a real good buzz doing that. I don't paint every day, but I sketch every day. <laughs> I think I'm an addictive sketcher. Yeah. You're amazing. Wow. Thank you. People will come up. They like a bit of chat. I, like, I don't mind. I think I'll be more worried if they didn't come around and ask me something. I think maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I think we are all creators. I think we all painted when we were small. I think what happens to most people growing up is that um, they lose a bit of the, the energy, the vibe, the passion they had when they were younger. If you told a five-year-old to do what I'm doing now, he won't care whether people would love it. He won't care whether people would criticize him. He would just dive into his crayons or paint and deliver the job. But what happens to us is that negativity of the world we live in gets into us and people become more comfortable, they become more reserved, but I wish everyone can be a child again. I think it's the child in us that needs to come out so we can express ourselves and be painters and be creators in many forms. I think people are too dogmatic nowadays to do things which they are programmed to do, like go to a work from nine to five, do things in this robotic form and not just express themselves. Sing, enjoy, dance, create, be a living being, enjoy life. Do something real, living, love. That's what I have to say. And that's why I will keep painting and drawing because I believe um, there's a spark to our lives. 
There's more to life than the ordinary. And you don't have to be a full-time artist to do this. You don't have to be a painter to do this. You get your colors out and express yourself in the way you want to. You'll never regret a day doing that. It will be worth remembering.